Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts, it's rolling out its COVID-19 vaccines. And the Council on Aging plays a role. I have with me today, Nava Nivogel, who is the director of Belmont's Council on Aging. Nava, thanks for joining us. Let's start Thank out with- Thank you for having me. Let's start out with who can get vaccinations at this point in time. So um, uh, the state has determined that who is eligible for vaccine uh, are first responders, clearly. Um, people who are home care workers, um, that population, and seniors who are over the age of 75. Now, that information was completely accurate as of yesterday. However, yesterday, there is a new group that's eligible. And that is um, anyone who escorts um, a senior over the age of 75 to one of the mass vaccination sites. And uh, what sites uh, are available for uh, Belmont seniors? So there are, there are many, many options and, and, and Belmont seniors can access these various options in different ways. Um, seniors can uh, sign up for the uh, mass vaccination sites. Uh, there is a new number. Um, state number, the 211 number, where seniors who do not have computer access can call and get an appointment set up. They can get an app now because of this new escort uh, system, their escort can sign them up over the internet um, for themselves and, and the senior to the mass vaccination sites. Other options are um, CVS and Walgreens are now offering um, vaccine. And in locally, the came, uh, 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 a CVS in Cambridge and CVS in Watertown are offering vaccine. Um, and then another way that seniors are getting vaccine so there's two more. Um, one way is if they are part of large healthcare systems like Beth Israel, Mount Auburn, um, they are getting calls uh, from their provider, healthcare provider, and there are already um, uh, made for, in our area, the Marino Center in Cambridge for Mount Auburn, Beth Israel, um, patients. So those seniors are being contacted by their health care provider. Then last is um, for the last several weeks, uh, the town of Belmont has received 100 doses of vaccine a week. And um, uh, these doses are being distributed through uh, a regional clinic that takes place on Wednesdays at the Arlington High School gym. Now, to access that clinic is to go to the uh, Belmont website, um, Town of Belmont website, the Board of Health page, and there's what's called a COVID survey. Now, the term survey may be uh, misleading to some people because they think, why should I fill out a survey? But what this survey, in fact, does is it puts you on a list for uh, vac vaccine at the regional clinic. Uh, so people can sign up over the internet um, and uh, another and what will happen is once people sign up, they call the Board of Health, 
um, if they don't have access to the internet. Uh, once Monday morning happens, okay, Monday morning is the magic morning because that's when Board of Health gets notified that indeed they will receive the 100 doses for the week. Once that happens, then, uh, then those people on who completed the survey who are eligible um, may be called and invited to the Wednesday clinic. I have to say um, all of the people that I know who completed the survey and have been eligible um, did get an appointment. It's the good news. Okay. I, I have two separate rela but related questions and I'm going to ask them both at the same time and ask you to respond. Sure. Number one, one thing I'm hearing is that uh, the Beach Street Center as of today is not a place that uh, uh, people can go to receive a vaccination. And the second question is, however, the Beach Street Center has a transportation service for eligible uh, Belmont residents. Does that play mm -hmm. a role? Absolutely. So yes, we play a role in the vaccination effort in a number of ways, but to answer your the two ways that you uh, asked about, um, we currently are, do not have a vaccination clinic set up or scheduled here. However, once, and we anticipate much more vaccine becomes available in the state, then we may have a clinic at the center because as, as we said, currently it's only a hundred doses a week for Belmont. Once that number ramps up to hopefully a thousand a week, then we will organize clinic at the center. And so just so that everybody knows, you do not have to scramble to find out when that will be. We will send out a robocall to anyone in our database. And that includes most seniors. But if I, I just want to say out there, if you're a senior and you have never um, registered with us as a user, we recommend that you do by calling or visiting our website, completing the form. That doesn't entitle you to vaccine at the clinic, but it will that you will get that robo call about a clinic here. So that's what I would say about that piece. So we very much want to be a site of vaccine site, clinic site in the future. Secondly, our transportation system um, is available now to transport seniors to the local clinic. So we've been taking seniors uh, to the Wednesday clinics every, you know, each week that, um, that they've been held and we plan to do so in the future. So simply feel for seniors who have an appointment at the local clinic, and if you've never used our transportation service before, um, you can just call 617-993-2980 and schedule a ride. Okay. Uh, now, Nava, you work with Belmont's aging population, obviously, as the director of the, uh, mm -hmm. the Beach Street Center. What message would you have about both the safety of getting a vaccine and whether you should wait or whether you should get it the sooner the better? Do you have an opinion? I think that vaccine is very safe from everything that our health experts say. Um, and it behooves everyone to get one. Um, you know, the, the, we do know that the second dose of the Moderna vaccine, people experience more side effects that has been reported, but that means that it's working really. Um, you know, if you're getting some, a little bit of the symptoms, think about how 
you know, exponentially worse it would be if you had the, the disease itself. We encourage not just our seniors, but the caregivers of our seniors um, to, to get vaccinated. Yes. And uh, looking forward, what, uh, from a vaccination perspective, what can people expect other than the hope that perhaps someday the Council on Aging uh, will uh, be a, a center, but looking forward, uh, can younger people expect to receive vaccinations soon? Uh, well, this spring? yeah, um, you know, I would say this, this is speaking as a lay person reading the okay. news and not so much as a COA director because, um, you know, we first have to, you know, we, it, the eligibility is for those 75 and over. We don't know yet. And frankly, we haven't gotten any word when that will be open to 65 and up. Okay. So I would say given, given all of that, I, I would not expect until uh, at least at the very earliest, early, uh, late April for the younger population. That said, there are groups within the younger population, you know, um, again, these escorts, who knows what, I mean, this was new to us as of yesterday, that that group, that, that's, that's a group that's, that's not age defined. There may be other groups that the state will decide will be eligible before what we now know to be the phases of the rollout. That's great. Uh, thanks for bringing us up to date. One of the most critical issues uh, uh, facing Belmont today, the availability of vaccines. We've been speaking with Nava Nivogel, who is the director of the Council on Aging, the director of, the, of Belmont Speech Street Center. Thanks for joining us, Nava. Thank you. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.